I'm guessing if you're watching me right now, that you're one of the Yankee fans that want either Volpe or Peraza to start at short, and probably want the other to start at third, and we just got more insight on what would happen if that were to be the case. What's going on guys? It's the King of 161st Street. I'm back with another video when Aaron Boone, Aaron Boone, Aaron Boone. He pisses me off sometimes with the shit he says, either because it's too bland or what he's saying is absolutely dumb as fuck. I think we got the latter today as he came out with a quote, basically, and I, I don't have the full quote in front of me. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. The basis of the quote is, if Peraza gets the starting job at short, which seems like the direction they would probably go and Volpe possibly play third, maybe vice versa. If that were to be the case, Isaiah Kiner Falefa would be put into a utility role, almost like what I, what Oswaldo was last year, and he would get reps in the outfield. This right here, this quote is the definition of Cashman's ego getting the best of this team. He cannot admit that this trade was not a good one. The Yankees might be bringing Gary Sanchez back. I might make another video on that, so I won't go too deep in that into that conversation. But he cannot admit that IKF was not a good stopgap for Volpe. So he wants to try and prove that it was a good trade. So he's going to make him play another out of position season where he will most likely struggle. I don't understand it. Last year, the Yankees tried to prove that Kiner Falefa could make the transition from third to short and make it seamless. It didn't happen. And you had dumbasses like me earlier in the year claiming like he was playing fine, not looking at the right stats. I, I've moved on. The Yankees front office has not. They seem to think that Isaiah Kiner Falefa is so valuable that even though he struggled at short moving to from third, they're going to move him again to an outfield position, a position he has never played in his career. Now, is there the possibility he could have a resurgence in that role? Maybe. Is there a chance he could be better than Hicks? There's always a chance you could be better than Aaron fucking Hicks. If I were the Yankees, I'd try a guy like Everson Pereira. You have guys like Esteban Florial. You have guys like, you have guys like Willie Calhoun that can play left and it'll probably work out better than Hicks. Have someone with experience play that position. We're, we're, we're just regressing at this point if we're trying to play Isaiah Kiner Falefa in the same position as Oswaldo. Because Isaiah Kiner Falefa is fully developed at this point. He may be somewhat young to where he could develop some skills, maybe become an, a below average left fielder. That's not what we want. The reason why Oswaldo could do it so well is because he was so young, he's able to develop at a higher rate. The younger you are, the more learning capacity you have. Oswaldo is so young that he could learn that position quicker than a guy who's been seasoned in the league. Isaiah Kiner Falefa is seasoned in the league. I mean, this isn't going to make too much sense because he's not that old, but you can't teach an old horse new tricks. And he proved you can't teach this horse new tricks last year when you just tried to slide him over from third to short. There's different skills that are involved there, and he is not equipped with those skills. Why are we taking another risk, putting him in a position where there is more skills he needs that he probably doesn't have based on what we saw at shortstop? This is just absolutely dumb. Admit that you were wrong. The Yankees would be so much better off. Brian Cashman did not have such a fucking ego, which is why I wanted him gone after this season. And I wanted them to bring in the old general manager of the Astros they let go because he's proven he's willing to try things. He's willing to go with new ideas. He's not stuck in the fucking past. Brian Cashman is stuck in the past. And whenever he does make a decision and it doesn't work out, always trying to make it work. A lot of that is his ego and that is not helping the team. There is a high possibility that even though Anthony Volpe is outplaying Anything Isaiah Kiner Falefa did last year, right now, and he was told he would possibly get the starting job, that we're going to start the year with Isaiah Kiner Falefa and Josh Donaldson as our third and third baseman and shortstop because Cashman can't get over himself. Be creative. Do something different. It hasn't worked. 
for over a decade. It's finally time to move on. We're not in 2009 anymore. We are in 2023. If we don't win this year, that'll be 14 years without a title. We're already on 13 years. We've already hit the teens. It's time to get our shit together and it's time to stop the ego because there's no reason to have one. It's time to stop with that ego and it's time to start embracing change actually making moves that will help this team and so i hope you enjoyed this isaiah connor falefa might be playing left field in the near future wish us some fucking luck because we're gonna need it